hey girl hey welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below y'all so we're gonna talk about this i watched the movie mia copa okay and i you know i done heard lots of things some people like the movie some people didn't some just indifferent look I like the movie, okay? Kelly Rowland, she helped produce the movie. She's acting in the movie. Um, I'm going to give Kelly her flowers. I love me some Kelly Rowland. Um, and she did her thing. So, if you have not watched the movie, spoiler alert, because I'm going to talk about this thing. We're going to die. Oh, Lord, don't let the camera just shake like that, but we're going to dive into the movie. Okay, so it's a whole lot of life. In the beginning of the movie, it starts off, um, Mia and her husband, Cal, they are in counseling. And, I mean, they got their issues going on, you know, whatever the case may be. So, uh, the phone rings. It's his mama. Okay. He didn't say, let me call you back. He didn't say none of that. He said, I got to go. Okay, we trying to work on this marriage. And you talking about you got to go. Um. So he gets up and, you know, leaves. He wanted um, his wife to come. And she was like, no, I'm going to finish the session. <laughs> I'm going to finish this. So... She says, I'll get up with you later. So, they're having this um, birthday dinner for the mama or whatever the case may be. So, Kelly gets there. Oh, and the mama talking to her like a dog. Like, what? Who are you speaking to? I mean, and the cow is just quiet. He's not saying anything. And then, to add insult to injury, though, how the mama is talking to Kelly, like, she is beneath, uh, beneath her, okay? Um, like, scum of the earth. The mama invites this other woman and says, this, this is who her daughter-in-law should be. And then says, oh, Basically, Mia won't mind. Um, she puts this woman beside the husband. Okay, so after that, they leave or whatever. Now, you buy your mama this expensive watch. And Kelly is like, let me say Mia. Mia is like, um, basically, how you afford that? <laughs> um... What you do to get that? <laughs> because see, as of right now, Mia is the only one working. You ain't got no money. <laughs> you ain't you 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 ain't got no money. Okay, mm -mm. it's 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 a no. Y'all know that that's just it's just a turn off that 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 not money no money. Okay, so he done sold the piano out of they out of their house. So Kelly, Mia was mad about that or whatever the case may be. So they get home and, you know, she's stressed out because everything is, everything is on her. It, when I say everything, everything. So in the movie, Zaire, okay, he is charged with taking somebody out. Um, and he said he innocent. And a person that me and knew was like, you know, he a good guy, just help him out, yada yada yada. Take the case or whatnot. Well, since they in these financial waters, these financial difficulties right now, um she was like, I meet with him, you know what I'm saying? I hear him out. And 
the family about to have a fit. Um, the husband telling her, you not with a T going to take that case. Not. Okay, you don't have no job and y'all need money. Okay, let me say that again. Y'all need M-O-N-E-Y. Money. Coin. Y'all need that. You don't have it. Um, and you don't have it because you you was getting high. That's how you lost your job. You don't have no income rolling in. And uh, she proceeds to say, y'all, they sitting at the table. And as he trying to tell her what she will and will not be doing, she got them bills laid out. And she's like, pick one. Pick one. Pick. K -k with a K. Pick one. Y'all know what he couldn't say? <laughs> Nothing. Nata. So, the next thing you know, the mom caught herself going to cook a little family dinner. She going to cook this little dinner up. But it was not out of the kindness of the heart. It was her saying, um, you're not going to take this case. And then the brother-in-law, oh, he was some, Oh, he was a piece of work too. He invites himself, you know, that the mama, Cal, her husband, and the brother-in-law, they all at her house telling her what she will not do. And, the, you know, the husband, like, don't let my family know that I'm not working. I don't have no job. So the next thing you know, guess what? She look at them. She said, mm, I'm going to take this case. <laughs> Get your bag, girl. I'm not mad. So she take the case. And, um, you know, Zaire is bringing the chocolate. <laughs> He's bringing the sexy back. Okay. Yeah, Mia can't hardly focus for looking at at this man and you know what he know it he he know that she is checking him out mm, 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 mm. so you know it's getting a little it's getting a little hot because she met up with him at his place to go over the case and she's like you know you can't hide nothing from me i need to know everything so it's tension and then she decides, you know, it's going to be best that they meet at her office. That's, that's going to be best. And he was like, nah, we need to meet at my place. Um, that's, what, that's what we need to do. And now her friend is um, a detective. And so she got him, you know, looking out, what the case, whatever the case may be. So this tension keeps going on between Mia and Zaire. Zaire saying he's innocent. Um, you know, he said, I would never do that to, he said, I love the woman I was with. That's what he proclaimed. He loved the woman. And he was like, you know what, you so tense or whatever. We, we, we need to, we need to go out. So, he said, come with me. Okay, so, me and she go with him or whatever. She get on the back of his bike. See, you know, you need to loosen up. You just so uptight. And y'all, when I say Mia was killing it with the outfits, outfit after outfit after outfit, I mean, just killing it. So, um, they end up going to like this underground like place or whatever. And when I say anything goes in that place, anything goes. So, you know, she had to get out of there. And you, she got thoughts of this Zaire on the brain. And then had to go home and deal with Cal. And they had um, a moment between a husband and wife. And it's quite boring. <laughs> Rather boring, I must say. You know, she was just like, whatever. But anyway, so the next thing, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm speeding things up. You know, she working on this case. What night the tension is getting it's getting real it's getting real tight. But um the detective say, you know what? Your your husband, he cheating. So, you know, that that just did it right there. So um she was 
back at the uh, place with old, old boy. It's about to go down. So that's what that, that's what that's what happened, honey. It, it when I say it went down, I, I, ooh, honey, it it went it went down. It was like uh uh miss uh uh me uh uh miss rolling uh uh. And see, that's what I think people got a problem with because they not used to seeing Kelly Mia in that light. They used to seeing her in a different light. Oh, it goes down. So after they had a moment or whatever, the detective um, calls her the next day and was saying, you know, um, the husband, he, even though he was at the hotel, his mom, his brother, all of them was there. And next thing you know, they, uh, they called Kelly in or whatever. She she goes because the mama says she has cancer. She says she has cancer. And she's really sick. Okay. Mm, she don't have it, but she playing like she do. So, um, when Kelly, you know, goes to the house or whatever the case may be, um, uh, you know, she's feeling bad. She's feeling real bad, um, about what she did or whatever the case, you know, maybe she feels bad about it. Um, so the next thing you know, uh, she discovers some things. She ends up, um, she admits it even in front of the family or whatever, you know, and Cal about to have a fit. So the next thing you know, Kelly Mia takes off, get a little vacation, takes off, and the girl that's supposed to be no longer here, um, she working at the resort. Okay. She working at the resort. So I don't know what made her call the brother-in-law. You know he don't like you. No, he don't like you. So she was like, oh, you need to, because the brother-in-law trying to be the mayor. You know what I'm saying? He trying to be a politician. And he was like, you need to come back home. I'll take care of it. And she was like, no, but he, he is innocent. Nah, he told me he going to take care of it. Yeah, in his way, the lies he was telling. So the next thing you know, she leaves the resort, gets back on the plane, comes home, or whatever the case may be. Yeah, they try to take her out. They try to take her out. So come to find out the reason that the, the brother, the brother-in-law is so ticked off is because, oh, oh, I know, y'all, I'm, I'm about to leave it out, I'm about to leave it out. Okay, this is this important part. Oh, uh, before Kelly took off, or whatever, before Mia took off, okay, so there was this art gallery, because that's what Zaire does, honey. He is an artiste. He um is getting paid big dollars for his art. So anyway... This lady that owns the gallery, she wanted to meet with her. And you have protesters outside or whatever because, you know, uh, they want to see him locked up because they already, you know, trying to say he guilty or whatever. So she meets with the lady, older lady, and everything that Mia has done with Zaire, this man has done with this lady. And, you know, she just breaking it down, telling the did he do this? Did he do that? I bet he did this. I bet he did that. Now, you know, she feeling, she feeling like that. So she left the, um, the art gallery or whatever the case may be. She left from there. Next thing you know, that's when she, you know, she admitted what she did. She, she flew to where she was at. Met with the lady. I'm trying to catch y'all up. Um, met the lady that, you know, was supposed to be no longer here. Uh, the lady runs off. She come back home. And then, what 
what the thing was that really made Kelly mad. Um, let me rewind. The lady, the lady that owned the gallery was saying, you know, I bet above the bed. He painted a picture of you that's above the bed. Y'all, when Mia got to his place, and stormed into that bedroom. Y'all, she looked up. She looked up. And she took her picture down. And y'all, it was all these women. He had painted a picture. All the ones he had. You, you know. You you know. You know what I'm saying. What he, what he had done with these women. And y'all, one of the pictures was the sister-in-law and her and the sister-in-law was really really good friends so now it's all making sense so when kelly goes mia goes to the house when she go to the go to the brother-in-law house and you know now it makes sense like the sister-in-law just they was really close but never would really open up the mouth oh now she know why the brother-in-law is so mad so not only had Mia, <laughs> also he had the sister-in-law. Well, honey, the brother-in-law tells his wife, get rid of Mia. She couldn't do it. So the brother-in-law, he gets rid of the wife. Y'all y'all understand what I mean when I say get rid of. So, you know, Mia gets the key. She get out the house. She's running. And the, the husband didn't really know how to work the technology within the car. So, now she's met up with the husband, gets in the car with him, and she said, call 911. She done told him what the brother tried to do. And then the brother calls, and he's trying to act like, cool, this, that, and the other. But Mia, she's smart. She puts it on speaker. You know how you can access your phone calls through the car. Oh, and the brother, the brother-in-law is on the phone. Time I bring her back here so we can finish what we need to do with her. Honey, Mia then let uh unbuckle his seatbelt. It's a big old 18 wheeler. She swerves the car. She survives. Um, he does not. He, he does not. Um, so the next thing you know, everything that needed to be said and done, she cleared Zaire. She lives and she goes on about her merry little her merry little way. So that's really just that's just really it. I didn't see nothing, you know, when people just like, oh, trash garbage. But to each his own, I like the movie. That's the movie in a nutshell. Y'all, I and I gotta get back to um I gotta get back to finishing um my list so we can have some groceries up in the Barbie penthouse. We need groceries and other and other things. Um but we stick it to the budget. We gonna stick to the budget. But y'all, I am finna go to bed because um teaching is it's no joke. You gotta have that energy. I'm finna lay it down. Um if you still watching, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Y'all know I love you, and we'll get up later. I'm Nikki J and I'm out.